to another grocery haul video. I'm just back from Morrison's, which is my usual place of shopping. Um, and as I've mentioned in another video, uh, at some point during this week, we have Millie and Joe with us um, throughout this week, who are my stepchildren. So some of these foods in the haul um, will be a little bit different, but the majority is the same. It's just obviously doubled in quantity. Um, so we'll start off with the fruits and vegetables which is the usual bulk of the haul. So I grabbed two of the Chinese style stir fry mix. Um, I picked up a packet of tender stem broccoli. We're all, I think I've said this before, but we're all super huge fans of tender stem broccoli and asparagus. I also grabbed some baby corn. I grabbed a punnet of these sweet baby peppers. I did want to get um, some just ordinary red and yellow peppers. However, I think it's like the last three times that I've been, they don't seem to have them. So I do really enjoy these and it's fine, but I did have the intention of buying the bigger ones, but it's fine. At least I had these. Um, I grabbed some raspberries, some blueberries, and strawberries. Everything's upside down. Um, I also grabbed a pack of the pink lady apples and the green apples. I got a little net bag of lemons. I grabbed a pack of white onion and red onion. I got some jumbo spring onions. I got a little bag of the mixed florette salad leaves. Um, I did do sort of like a little sort of in-between shop over the weekend and I did get a bigger bag of this along with some of the stuff like um, almond milk, that kind of thing. So there are some staples that won't be in this, this haul but I did buy them on the weekend so that's fine. So yeah, still no um, packets, punnets of the amazing orange and red tomatoes. So this week I thought I'd try their organic cherry tomatoes. Um, just, to, just to compare flavour and whatnot, they are considerably higher in price, but I just thought I would give them a whirl. I do also have a punnet of these, which I think I mentioned in my, in last week's grocery haul, which they're just British tomatoes from the co-op. But as you can see, they've got a couple of like orange, yellow tomatoes in there. Uh, not enough for my liking, but we've got to do what we've got to do, unfortunately. I got, um, I got a cucumber. I got one avocado. I got a bag of sweet clementines. So I didn't get the sweet clem box. They, they had a couple of boxes left, but every single one had a moldy clementine in it and I was like I'm not I'm not gonna do that so I thought I'd pick these up I can't remember the price difference but um, I'm sure they'll be just as nice and I also grabbed some of the blush pears because they're so yummy and juicy and place them really really good I'm trying not to have chocolate this week um, so I'm hoping that the berries and the pears and the like more sweeter fruits will um take all them chocolate cravings and whatnot away uh so next i'll move on to sort of the meats so i've got two packs of bacon lean unsmoked bacon medallions i got a punnet packet whatever you want to call it of um diced chicken breast fillets I also grabbed a packet of the mini breast fillets. Uh, 
um, I grabbed two packs of the salmon with like the idea to have four, four fillets. So I've got this one which is just like one whole piece and then these which has got like two pieces so I'm hoping that there'll be enough in there to, to make two, I'm sure there will be. Um, uh, the only other thing in meat are some pepperamis. Okay, um, moving on to sort of like dairy, I would say. Oh, actually, there's some cheeky prawns hiding in the back. There we go. Pretty sure that's it for me now. So in dairy kind of items, I got a block of mature cheddar cheese and double Gloucestershire cheese. Not for me, but good to have in. I also got a pack of um, Dairyly Dunkers, the Jumbo Tubes, and the Dairyly Dunkers with the nachos. These are for Millie and Joe. Um, just for little snacks throughout the day. Um, is that it for dairy? No. I also got another one of these. They didn't have them last time, and I was really upset because I've got a little bit of the. What, what flavour is it? Salted caramel protein powder left and I really was craving the a coffee protein shake in, in a morning so I got this with the idea to use up the less of that. I also did grab, which I'll just quickly show you because it's a huge part of my like weekly food, um, a big pack, the biggest pack I think that they do, of the Slender Blend um, protein powder. I got this one in vanilla ice cream. I have had this flavour before and it's honestly delicious. But I kind of thought if I get a more like neutral flavour, um, I can add things to it and just switch up my protein shakes a little bit more. Like make peanut butter flavours um, and whatnot. So as we know, I'm still on the kind of like protein shake for breakfast and lunch hype. So just thought I'd include that in here. Um, I also grabbed some soy ginger garlic noodles. I've had these before and these are honestly so good. So, 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 so super yum. Um, and also to go with the stir fry, I got two packs of the teriyaki sauce. Uh, moving on to like Store cupboardy type things, I would call this. So, Millie, Joe, and Jim are super big fans of like these spaghetti and sausage thing tins and the beans and sausage. Um, so, I grabbed a bunch of them for those guys. This haul is totally like gobbledygook in order because I've just noticed this as well. I picked this little guy up, which is one of the um, Starbucks coconut based uh, cappuccino, um, which is basically like chilled coffee and coconut milk. I'm feeling quite tired today. So I think anything coffee related really, really stood out to me, but these were on offer in the sort of like free from section so I thought I'd just pick one of them up as a little treat to try. Um, I also grabbed two packets of the Uncle Ben's rice. These are still on offer um, and we're gonna have some rice this week. I do still have quite a lot of the packets left but like I said I like to get these when they're on offer and just stock up a little bit so I have them in the cupboard got some veggie straws absolutely incredible love them so so much um, I'm just about out of soya sauce so when I saw this I thought I'll grab that because I'm just about done with my last one and I really enjoy it I also grabbed some Warburton's seeded batch this is the most amazing bread ever um, Jim, Joe, and Millie and myself occasionally like to have this with like poached egg or, or you know whatever. 
but it's really good, really yummy. Big super fan of seeded bread in general. So I think, I don't often get frozen stuff, um, but I grabbed, I grabbed these sweet potato fries. I know this might seem really lazy, but it's just super convenient to have them already chopped up. To be honest, I went to the sweet potato section in the like fruit and vegetable aisles and all the sweet potatoes were like the size of like a lemon. They were like so small and usually if I'm making sweet potato fries, I like them to be a big chunky one so it's easier to cut them. Um, all the sort of like ones that were, uh, all the sweet potatoes that was there, it would have been like too small to make them so, but I also thought it, with with having Millie and Joe this week and lots going on and, and whatnot, convenience isn't, you know, a cop out. If you can make healthy foods convenient, then just do whatever you can, basically. Um, so yeah, got some frozen sweet potato fries. I'm gonna make them in the air fryer. It kind of makes them taste fried, but you use like no oil or a teaspoon of oil and it does the trick. And the very last thing on the haul is just some flavoured waters. I've got a sparkling peach, still lemon and lime, sparkling apple and elderflower, and still raspberry and apple. And that's it for the groceries, I'm pretty sure. So I'll just end off with letting you know what I plan to eat. So today is Tuesday and this is gonna see us through to sort of like Friday. So I'll just go through. I'm still logging my um, meal planning. I'm still planning my meals on my fitness pal. I'm just finding it really useful and handy to, to do it that way. So this evening we're gonna have a chicken teriyaki stir fry. Tomorrow we're going to have salmon, rice and tender stem broccoli and asparagus. On Thursday evening we're going to have um, like chicken skewers with peppers and onion um, with a little bit of salad and some sweet potato fries and then that's it really. So everything else is for like snacks. And, and what have you and I'm gonna have my protein shake for breakfast and lunches so yeah that's it for another grocery haul um, I'm hoping to do some more what I eat in a day videos I will post the last one up here somewhere um, so you can check it out if you haven't seen them yet but thank you so much for watching and if you don't see me before you'll definitely see me on Friday for my weigh-in video thank you bye